What it do, what it do, what it do. This is your boy, KQKC Boxing Network. First of all, let's hit that like button and show the OG some love. That's right, the singing OG is throwing down on another, another video. Tank Davis versus King Ryan Garcia. Both press conference was okay, but the second press conference was a little better. But that's not the question. The question is, will they actually do 2.4 million pay-per-view buys? According to Oscar De La Hoya, they are on the road to doing that. Now, let's be logical. Let's use our basic common sense for a change. And that goes for me too. See, this is not the fight that we all believe can be the fight of the century. This is not the fight that we all think it could be and make like 2.4 million pay-per-view buys. I don't think it would get that close. But is it a good promotion? Yes. A lot of people spoke on that how bad the promotion is and how Stephen F. knows her. He ain't not going to have all assets and this and that. And y'all know who I'm talking about. Let's not be stupid. Let's not be crazy. This is one of the best promotions, I think, that it deserves the type of fight it is. Let's be honest. We are talking about the lightweight division. We are talking about Javante Davis. We are talking about Ryan Garcia, who never fought any top competition. Same with Ryan. I mean, I'm sorry, the same with uh, Javante Davis. But let's get away from that. Let's talk about their attributes. Let's see what they bring to the table. And right now, it doesn't matter who fought who. It's what each other can do to each other. Now, Ryan Garcia, he believes that he has the power to knock Tank out. Way to sell it, Ryan. Way to sell it. Because that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen, Ryan. And everybody that's listening, all my subscribers, my family members, baby. You know. You know for a fact that you've never seen Javante Tank Davis wobbled. you never seen him hurt. Now, you have seen him get hit. And like I always tell you all on my live stream, which I will be live tomorrow. 11 a.m. Central Time. You don't want to miss it. Now, once again, like I said, Javante Davis like to open up. He like for you to open up. Then he opens up. And then, that's your mistake. Now, Ryan, I get it. I get the money part. I get that you are uh, 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 tired of being called the Instagram boxer. Well, you are. I'm sorry. Most of your fan base are women. Some might be men. But still, that's your fan base, which is okay. Because every time someone asks Oscar, someone asks uh, Garage, I mean, Bernard Hopkins, you were here. You were here. Oh, well, he got so many Instagram followers. Well, that's fine. Now, let's go over to Javante Davis. What do he bring to the table? Well, he has a boxing ring IQ. No doubt about that. That's why he brought Kenny Porter in his camp. Now, for you all that don't know, Kenny Porter was in his camp with the Pit Bull Crews uh, fight. Now, now, who you think taught Javante Davis and have him to go on the back foot? And that's very funny. And the reason why I say that because uh, 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 Javante Davis walks you down. Sean Porter is a pressure fighter. We are talking about Kenny Porter, his father slash coach slash trainer, is teaching Javante Davis 
how to fight on the back foot in the pit bull cruise fight. And that's what he did. And also, he had an injury. So he had to pretty much fight on the back foot like he pretty much designed to do. But he had to really do it because of the slight injury that he had to his hand. I think he broke his hand or fractured it. Let's be honest. No one can do that. No one can make adjustments like that without having athleticism, a ring IQ, and let's not all forget, he has punching power. He has that brick hand that will put you on the mat. And yes, he is not Knight Luke Campbell. Ryan Garcia will not get up off that canvas. I promise you that. If that punch comes and later on in that uh, uh, fight, it probably will. But when that power punch, shovel jab, or a tumble jab, or a left hook, or a right hook, when that comes, Ryan Garcia will not get up. I promise you that. And I also promise you this. If Javante Davis don't allow Ryan Garcia to get into his head, what we're going to talk about tomorrow. Because right now, Ryan Garcia is winning the battle of the words, the gift of the gab. That's what he's doing. He's winning with the words. Now, Javante Davis got to take that energy and focus and stay composed and to beat Orion Garcia. I will be live tomorrow. I will be live tomorrow at 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. We need to talk about this fight. We need to talk about the Tim Zhu Harrison fight. Do not underestimate Tim Zhu. Do not underestimate Ryan Garcia. We are getting the fights, people. We are getting the fights from Showtime and PBC. And it's more and it's more to come. Trust me, I know that for a fact. And when KQ's KC say you know something, I don't front. I don't front. I don't act like I'm bigger than the next man. I tell you facts. I call balls. I call strikes. You know how it is, baby. Yes, sir. So shout out. Ooh, shout out to the almighty LDBC. Shout out to all oh, my family members. Yes, my family members. And we do have that pay-per-view giveaway. And it will be coming up at the end of March. Getting ready for the... Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis, pay-per-view giveaway. I will pay for someone pay-per-view. That's right. Now, of course, you can listen to KQK called Play by Play and Blow by Blow like this Saturday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. I'm the best in the business. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm arrogant when it comes to that. I know I am. I know I call every punch, every blow. So, tune in tomorrow, 8, 11 o'clock a.m. Central Time. Peace and love to all my family members. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Salam. To Almighty, Allah, the Magnificent and the Merciful. And with that, I'm out of here.